cleaning out the, the coop. And it's your information. In the winter time, if you let your coop go, you get a buildup in there and it turns to ice. Or especially if you don't heat your coop. I don't heat my coop. Uh, they're just fine. They create enough body heat. But you'll get a pile and uh, you know, you'll get several piles anyway and it freezes. Well what it does is it creates basically like ice blocks. So it tur starts turning your chicken coop into an ice house instead of a warm place for them. So you want to make sure you keep that well maintained. I clean mine at least once a week, but the last two weeks it's been so right down cold that when it hits the ground within a few minutes it's froze. Uh, so I've had to keep putting it off. Today actually warmed up enough where I can get in there and get it out. And that's probably you can see behind me where the pallets are. That's my compost pile. That's where I put everything. And it'll stay in there for about a year, uh, breaking down uh, and that. And then I'll take it and I'll put it out in the garden. Inside the run over here, where I have this canopy, I take the sides and sides off in the in the summertime. And anyway, there's probably a good two feet of compost in there now. So that will be ready to put on the garden this spring. So that's. That, that, that's my recommendation. Uh, now, for your information, as far as me editing videos, I only edit the videos where there's a long period of time uh, that I'm not talking to you or nothing's going on, really, or I have problems once in a while. I forget what I'm saying. Uh, that's from prior accident, so excuse that. Uh, but anyway, you know, I, I'm trying to give you good content, good information. Uh, I'm up trying to upload some of the old videos on how to, like, how to put a 10 box nesting box together. Uh, I'm going to be putting up uh, how to fix a utility trailer, lights, uh, and some other things I'm going to be doing in the upcoming while. As spring approaches, we're going to be trying to do a lot more for you. And uh, show you how my chickens till my garden, they fertilize my lawn, uh, they help keep my lawn trim somewhat. Uh, when I use a lawn mower, I bag it, I give it back to the chickens, let them turn it into fertilizer. The table scraps. We give them a lot of table scraps. They get pancakes, sausage, they get almost everything. You know, there's only a few things that chickens don't eat uh, and shouldn't have. So, there, you know, it's, it's the way of life out here. The way we do things might not be the right way, might be the wrong way, but it's our way. So, Anyway, well, I'm going to take you around, and I'm going to show you uh, how we do the self-serve egg business. Uh, give you an idea there, and uh, we'll see you here in just a few minutes. Hang on. All right, so right out here is where we got our egg sign. That's my big five foot rooster. Anyway, on our front door I have 12 packs, 18 packs. This is how many we have in the fridge on the inside. Let the wife open the door here. I'm going to take you in here. Battery's going to try going dead on us. But anyway, 
as they come in we got this fridge here set up and it has the sign uh, telling people please take what you need please put money cash check in an envelope please write name on the envelope and what you took and then they put it up here in the basket there's the envelopes also we have a sign that's required by law that we got to post that it says warning eggs have not been cleaned for your protection washing warm water before use now in here is the eggs this is what we have on currently on hand right now there's two dozen duck eggs the rest are all chicken eggs uh, we have some on sale that's they're where they need to be used within two to three weeks I got them marked down uh, we got a duck a dozen duck eggs sold this morning and a dozen chicken eggs sold this morning and then uh, over here on this table I have some papers with information on them on, on our eggs uh, a pen if they want one bags to put their eggs in and that's the way we do our egg business so I'll take you back outside here where it's a little more light so hopefully that kind of gives you an input on how we do some things around here uh, I don't know if the wife has anything to say or not since I got the camera on her Nothing at all. You don't want to welcome back to our channel or anything? Oh, welcome back to our channel. Hope you enjoy. So, it's the day. It's starting to cloud up again. Expecting some more snow. Uh, that's my weather station up there. In the one video I showed uh, the chicken weather vane. It's right there. So, anyway give you a little view around here and we'll head towards the back for a minute if the video ends don't forget to like comment and subscribe share it with your friends and help our channel grow and in one of our other videos I think it was another clean up or something, I can't remember what name it was, there was a couple stumps that was over in this area and a stump out here, they're all gone, uh, put in a raised flower bed with a chicken water, chicken, uh, not a chicken water, but a bird water and a bird feeder, we've done a raised bed back there, and uh, trimmed out a few more trees, took out a few trees, we took out one tree here and one there and one on that corner of the fence there and uh said we're we're just trying to put you out some content of what we do here how we do it uh updates on things we we done everything you know we're trying to catch up in the, the year that we've been off youtube so just to give you a little update on things and, and that so once again, from Frank Carey's homestead, thanks for watching and we'll catch you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.